All right, guys. Back again with part two of this video, guys. All right. <clears throat> Just have some information to share with you guys and this amplifier. So this amplifier, guys, you know, I could comes in with the this inductor coil was giving a problem. It burnt off here, broke off one side of it, and I started. I slick on it well overnight, and it's man, this thing is not going anywhere soon. Even if I put it on the box again, it's not going anywhere soon, which I think that's where it's going to be on the box again. You know me, guys? All right, guys. So that's what my daughter called me saying there. The pot is burning. I'm cooking at the same time, guys. So I put it on low side there. I was like, there's no reason for it to be burnt or like burning. You know? so, I go in there, it's just the steam of the pot cover because I have mask. You guys, a lot of people know what I'm talking about. So the steam is, you know, dropping on the stove. So it's making the noise, like, you know, you know it goes. So that's what happened. So. Yeah, back again. Okay, all right. So, where was I? Yeah, inductor coil. Yes, guys, you know, this was burnt off right here. The inductor coil, yeah, and I soldered that leg and I straightened everything and I, you know, with the silicone. Man, I should have done this. This thing is going nowhere, guys. This thing is not even shaking. Damn, all right. So, I pour it on, guys. It comes on like, nah, man. You know, you come on, guys. It was coming on, but then I turn the volume knob up. It wasn't playing but it doesn't do that anymore what it's doing it did guys plays with the lights you know with the poor light on and everything like everything is normal but the audio that was coming from it wasn't clean guys the audio was some dirty like you know so all the output most of the time okay guys and i was like why is it that the audio sound like that and i was like hmm so I said, all right, I'm, if we don't do anything else, I'm going to just do one thing. And I said, I'm going to just replace the muscle driver I see because I got a lot of stuff like that. Stuff like that happens up and it's a resistor or something. So I said, hmm, so why this would burn and sparks and it didn't damage this? All right, hmm. All right, I'm going ahead and to replace these guys. And you want me all? I replaced them and everything seemed to be okay. So let me give you guys a little test and see what goes on from there. If you guys see that everything is working like it should, where's my, where is, I'm supposed to download something guys to this thing and I, I don't download it as yet, oh no, I didn't remember, to this phone, because I'm using my personal phone guys to do the videos guys, and I was supposed to download some, you know, something to this so I can test uh, let me go to one of the have some base beats this guy so yeah that's about it right there mm -hmm. I hope a little bit this is down. I think everything is turned down right there. I hate to see pieces of copper wire around my workbench. And so my knees, you see a lot of the copper wire, guys. In this right here. Right, see, this is in. Already have a base test tone on it. Which is on already. Let me pause it for now. And switch this on, guys, and let you guys see what's going on. Guys, I hope you guys could see the poor light right there. Yeah, yeah. You could see. So let me do something here now. This. Alright, well then now I look at a screwdriver. I'll let you guys see here, this part here. stop it now don't practice doing that at home or not at home 
no way should be doing that like what I do here, guys, because, damn, oh yeah, pretty cool. So, everything is working at the right temperature here, guys, and stuff like that. So, this these two SI8244 BB, guys, show you a little trick, guys, that I use. Whenever you pour the amplifier on, most of these amplifiers, because some of these amplifiers come out with it at a temperature, but when, when that was happening, guys, I was doing this. And one of them was eating more than one. The one on this side here, it's funny. That was his one on this side, not the side of the Kyle, you know, but yeah, was eating up more than the one on the air. So I just put my, gently put my finger over it like this, guys. And then you could feel it going at a temperature that I have to even remove my finger, like, you know, really fast. It was going up, the temperature was going up. So I said, yeah, we place it and everything, and everything was working perfectly from that point on, you know. So yes guys, so that was the repair of this um MD twelve hundred point one and this is a 0 .5, 0 0.5 ohms. Yeah this one goes on to 0 0.5 ohms it says that's what it says on it. That's a little bit scary. I don't like nothing goes down below nothing below two ohms guys. Yeah, two ohms I think it should be the max, but you know that's some really I don't know, I don't know what to say. All I can say enjoy, you know, <laughs> and have fun. With a lot of people they will do have fun using because I think 0 0.6 ohms is mm, a lot of stress on the amplifier 0 0.5. Yeah, I don't think no amplifier should go through that, uh, honestly. But to tell you the truth, guys, I don't think they have no amplifier that built for that really say built for that, you know, that low ohms, you know, because a lot of amplifier they have to go on a stress when that when you do not put it down to that. These chances, I don't know of any guys for telling the truth. Maybe one is out there that doesn't go under any stress during that, you know, that loans, but yeah. But it does. But you know, guys, that's how it goes. So taking this apart, these wires off, and put this in the chassis. So, yes, guys, I put two electrical tape underneath to ice it off the circuit because you know, sometimes stuff is on the workbench that you don't want to touch on the circuit board of the amplifier to cause spark when you're testing it and stuff like that so yeah yes guys so this is the uh, right repair of this amplifier it is done it's finished now it is working fine and that's where it goes guys so what and guys please remember let me do something here first make sure this is if I really clean up, holy crap, look at that, guys. Damn. I almost get electrocuted. Can you imagine? So, yes, guys. This, cap this capacitor was charged and the amplifier is off. Can you imagine? Alright, guys, so that's it. And this. MD twelve hundred point one, and this is a zero point five ohms version of this amplifier. And it's up and running. In Doctor Kyle problem and SI chip right here. This IC monster driver chip. The SI eighty two four four BB. Yeah, that's the problem with this one. That was the issue with this one, guys. So yeah, so like. Like, subscribe if you like what I see, you guys, and that's it for part two of this video. And you know, carry on, carry on for now because I have a bunch of stuff to do, plus, I'm cooking at the same time. So, guys, as I would say, see you on the next one, all right? No respect, all right?